not so cute bed bugs. They're notorious hitchhikers. That's what we're talking about this morning. You can find them just about anywhere in all 50 states. With so many people in the midst of planning their summer trips, we should all know how to avoid these nasty bugs. Here with tips on how to best identify them and prevent bed bugs from traveling with you. Richard Conway with Truly Nolan. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's get right into it. How quickly do bed bugs multiply? Well, you know, they, they reproduce quite profusely. Uh, one bed bug can actually have multiple broods if the conditions are, are just right in a house okay. or uh, an area. So they can, they can multiply quite quick. And they're best known, you know, when you're traveling. That's how they really kind of latch on to you and go home with you, right? Right. They hitchhike. They're, they're, great, they're great hitchhikers, you know. So, uh, you know, with traveling and, and vacations and people being able to go overseas and mm -hmm. coming back, you know, it's, it's become, become quite, a, quite an issue in some places. Now, I know, you know, hotels, they really do try to keep, you know, a really close eye on this, but sometimes mm -hmm. they do miss it. They do. So if I'm traveling and I'm about to get to my hotel room, what do I do first when I get in? Well, the first thing you want to do is definitely do not leave your luggage on the floor or put it on the bed right away. Okay. What I like to do is just try to put it in the bathroom because the smooth surfaces are going to be harder for that bed bug to want to crawl into uh, and get onto because okay. with their legs, they just they're just not really great climbers on smooth surfaces. Okay. So once you do that, let's say I put my luggage in the bathroom, do I now inspect? Do I look for them? Yeah. Or, and how do I do that? Well, the first is you're going to start with the bed itself. You're going to start peeling back the blanket and the sheets, inspecting those individually, then coming up to the mattress, the box spring, the headboard, and then anything surrounding that area, whether it be okay. a telephone, alarm clock, because bed bugs, they just love cracks and crevices right. no matter what. So they will find any little thing to get into okay. and literally make that their home. And I recently learned that the headboards at some of these mm -hmm. hotels, you can take them off, right? Absolutely, yeah. People think that they're attached. And what you can do is actually just lift up that bedboard or that headboard, and it'll just, just come right off. Okay. Now, if it does come off by accident, you know, definitely call me. They'll help you out. <laughs> so. You're all, oops. Um, so once you, if you see a mm -hmm. bug, um, how do you know it's a bed bug? Well, that's a great question. You know, the way that they look is, is reddish brown to black to... It, depending on what stage they're at, if okay. they're nymphs, they're going to be um, yellowish white. Okay. So, you know, I did bring in some samples also today, and I think you guys have pictures too as okay. well. Oh, which there is they fantastic. are. Fantastic, yeah. Okay. So, those are actually live bed bugs that we took from a customer's house. Uh, and like I said, they're, they're just right there. Yeah. And yeah. so, you'd be able to see them. You'd yes, be able to know if they had yeah, a bed they're, bug Yeah, they're definitely visual. So a lot okay. of people think that they're microscopic, and that's just not the case. That's so, not the case at no, all. No, they're, they can get us to the size of an eraser on a pencil. Okay, and so. once, let's say you, you didn't inspect, mm -hmm. you get home, and you start feeling little bites while you're sleeping, because that's when they are really attracted to the most, right, with your right. oxygen. Um, with the carbon monoxide, right. So when you're laying there sleeping, you're emitting that carbon monoxide, and they're really going to start being attracted to that source. Um, so at that point, you know, the best way to, to not bring them home with you is to be preemptive on your, mm -hmm. on your going to a hotel or something. Right. So normally I would use, I would suggest hard case luggage, okay. hard like shell luggage, here. right? Uh, that way, because the smooth surfaces, it's harder for them to grab up on top of that and um, hitchhike as well. Okay. And so. once they do make it to your house, don't try to tackle it on your own. Call a professional because they're yes. really, they're really hard to get rid of anyway. And they you are. Wanna. And you know, the psychological impact is what we usually see is the hardest part. You know, get, taking care of them is a good thing, but the psychological right. impact is hard. Real quick website for more tips. Uh, you can go to uh, trulynolan.com. Uh, and then there's a bed bug registry as well, uh, which is bedbugregistry.com, which okay. you can see all the hotels as well that have issues. Perfect. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.